Hi everyone, it's Elisa here. I'm just going to show you a really quick video on how I did this flower on uh, on this card here. It was quite popular on Facebook with a few questions on how I actually created that. So it's really, really simple and it only takes a few minutes. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. Now you'll need a few punches. Oops, one of my pearls just fell off. Never mind, I'll put that on later. You'll need a few punches. So you'll need the blossom punch. So you'll need to punch out two of them. You'll need one of the scallop punch, which is the small one, and this is the old shape punch, not the new one. So you'll need one of them, and you'll need the boho blossom punch, and you'll need the, the spiky flower and the, the smaller flower here. Okay, so you need one of them, and I've done them all in the same colour as well. So what I've done is I've already pre-punched them, and I've pre-stamped them using a stamp set from the Artistics uh, etchings. So I've done this one here. Um, you could do it out of designer paper if you wanted to. So I've just done it out of them. So I've done them already and I've sponged around the outside. So I've just sort of done random stamping on that one. And I've stamped on my scallop and I've sponged around my scallop. I've left my spiky one alone and I've sponged around my small uh, flowery one as well. Okay, so to start with, you just need to grab the blossom punch and just curl the leaves on those ones just by using your bone folder. So curl them fairly uh, uh, tight, if you know what I mean, um, because they will flatten when you start sticking them together. So make sure they've got a fair bit of curl on them. Right, and the prep time for, for punching these out and stamping and sponging wasn't very long at all. Okay, so you've got your two um, blossom punches together. Now you can adhere them together with your snail. And you'll want to do them so that they're offset. So that the leaves are a bit offset. And then that way you can come in again and just sort of recurl those petals. Okay, pop that aside. Now with your scallop punch, all you need to do is between each scallop make uh, a cut. Don't cut all the way and don't cut your petals off. Okay, because all of this will get covered um, with your other flowers. Okay, just like that. And then you will need to adhere your spiky flower to the center. I don't know what else to call that. Daisy, daisy flower. So just pop that into the center and then your small one will come in the center of that. And then what I've also done is I have a, a button from the Itty Bitty Buttons pack. Uh, just a circle one and I've tied a bit of linen thread through it. You could use baker's twine if you wanted. And then using a glue dot, because these things are fantastic. Just take your button to the glue dot and lift it off and that'll go in the centre of your flower. Now what I also did to, because when you start layering them they sort of get lost within each other. So what I did is just used a white gel pen and I just made dots on the end of each petal. Now you could use uh, those really tiny pearls if you want. But I was sort of teaching this in a class environment and um, the white gel pen was there and seemed a lot easier than the pearls at the time. Okay, and then using uh, dimensionals, I'm just going to mount that onto the And I use all of my dimensionals. So you just want to pop that in the center. You can just separate those petals a little bit. And then that just gets adhered. And there you have your flower. 
so it's really quick and easy, very pretty. I think the stamping on it, it actually looks quite nice, but you can use it out of designer paper. You could perhaps do different colours rather than have it all the same colour. But here it is again on the card, and, uh, and I've just filled in with some leaves behind it from the little leaves die, and some more of the little flowers. And, um, and that's the card finished. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed that. See you later.